Today, I will walk you through a short tutorial on how to set up a, a job that runs on Databricks and writes data to Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. First step, we will create a new storage account on the Azure portal. We choose a name and location and select Storage V2. Make sure you enable hierarchical namespace. Other properties depend on your preference. Now, you can click Create. Once the resource is created, you can find your access key and copy it together with your account name. Back in your resource, you can create a new file system, but this can also be done through Talent. The first step is completed once you have your ADLS Gen 2 resource created and you obtain the account name, key, and file system name. To verify, you can use the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer. Connect to your account using storage account and key, and you will see your file system, in this case my, my FS, which should be empty. In step two, we will create and configure a Databricks 5.x cluster if you are looking for more details on how to get started with Databricks and Talon, you can find my previous video where I show it in more details. Here, I'm creating a new cluster using the 5.5 LTS version. I'm not going to use the auto scaling because it's a demo. I'll make the auto termination shorter. I will have to add these attributes in order to associate this cluster with my ADLS Gen 2 account. Make sure you enter the right account name and key. Place these attributes under the advanced options in your Spark config. Now you can create a cluster. Step two is completed once the cluster is running and you have your cluster ID, token, and your endpoint, which depends on your region. Check my previous video if you don't know how to get them. In Talent Studio, we create a new Spark job in the Spark config, we will choose Databricks with the 5.x version and configure our endpoint cluster ID and token. In this case, I'm running on an existing cluster and not a transient one. The cluster is already running. In the tAsure FS configuration component, we can choose ADLS Gen 2 and configure our account name, which is in this case demo ADLS 2, our key, and the file system myFS. We will write some data into the tfile output component pointing to my ADLS connection and create the file in a new folder from Studio. When we run the job, it will run on the Databricks cluster. We can see the, in the Azure Data Explorer that the folder and the files were created in my storage account. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.